The unexpected COVID-19 crisis has definitely challenged not only our daily life, but also our teaching practices. Teachers have had to adapt to the new setting by using digital platforms and tools in synchronous or asynchronous ways to reach their students. What have we learned during this period of distance learning? And how will this experience influence our teaching practice when back in the classroom? Let's hear from some teachers who have already reflected a bit about their teaching practice during this period of distance learning. First of all, I boosted up the initial phase of my lessons with questions and hints to activate prior knowledge, but above all to asserting that every student was involved in the lessons. During remote teaching, nonverbal language is often lacking. The nonverbal communication that is typical of lessons in the classroom and that allows the teachers to realize from their students' eyes and notes if they have understood the topic is not immediate or not always present. Secondly, formative assessment was very important to understand where my students were in their learning and how they were coping overall. Formative assessment, therefore, became more frequent than during lessons in the classroom to check if all students were approaching the goals set for the lessons. For both formative and summative assessment, online tests were created with Google Forms, Socrative or Google Docs for creative writing. This had not been done for lessons in the classroom. I became aware of the invisible and therefore often overlooked factors of the act of teaching, such as the classroom climate, the face-to-face -face communication and the interaction in real time, the connection between student and teacher and group work. I learned how to structure my online lessons in an engaging way and I also discovered new tools such as EF Class, or etherpads for collaboration, or I also use quizzes, for example, um, to check my students' understanding of a certain topic. I also learned uh, that using project-based learning in a remote teaching scenario um, is perfectly possible with the technology that is available nowadays. And uh, I think my students were more engaged uh, because they liked the activities. And not only that, uh, they learned how to organize themselves, uh, they showed perseverance when things didn't go as planned and I think these are skills they will need in the future and in their professional life. I think that I want to integrate project-based learning in all my classes because I felt that in comparison with other activities, it activated and motivated my students the most. And I kept contact best with those students I worked with on projects. It's much more than just assigning tasks and checking them later. It's much more personal. Now that they have learned to use it, in parallel with the face-to-face -face courses, I would like to continue to exploit the advantages of the electronic classroom, which develops students' autonomy and their oral as well as written communication skills in French language. This will give students the opportunity to utilize their learning, to adapt it to their own particular needs, which are very varied, and to deepen the content of the course. In my daily practice, I will try to encourage the self-reflective attitude of the students that has been developed by distance education. I would also like to give more priority to group work, the development of closer bonds between all the students and the taking of initiatives of, uh, on their part. In my opinion, it is necessary to vary the organization of the class and to alternate individual work, work in pairs and also in groups. Finally, from the very beginning of the school year, I plan to introduce my students to a simple use of the electronic classroom and collaborative tools such as Google Docs, Padlet, etc. For classroom lessons in the future, I will continue to enrich the initial phase of my lessons and use it to activate prior knowledge, but also as a sort of formative assessment for previous lessons on the same topic. An improved initial step in classroom lessons will be a master. 
I will keep using Google Forms, uh, Google Docs, uh, or uh, platforms like Socrative. The students can receive immediate feedback and they are extremely useful. I will experiment and flip the lessons using Screencast-O-Matic, VideoEnt or PlayPosit. These kind of reflections are definitely constructive for your professional development and lifelong learning journey. What about you? What did you learn from that experience and what impact does it have in your teaching practice? Before moving to the next video, try to spend some minutes to reflect on that and write down your thoughts in your learning diary.